Right, everybody, my name is Mark. Welcome to MD Ready. Please make sure you guys like, share, and subscribe. Click that little bell in the corner so you get all the notifications. Um, okay, here we are. So, I have a, uh, we're gonna do a video based on um, a question that was asked from Easy Gaming and Yo Fool. Okay, they're both 18 from my understanding and they're Maryland residents. And they wanna know what kind of farms can they buy in the state of Maryland. So, I wanna preface, I wanna preface this with saying that I'm not an attorney. Excuse me. And, and please excuse the attire. I'm working from home and I'm on my lunch break. So, I'm not an attorney. So, please uh, listen to what I have to say, but also do your own due diligence to make sure that you're uh, following the state, local, county, federal laws. Now, I'm going to say this with also giving you guys a little bit of uh, information that I would possibly, something I would use. So, one of the first guns that you were able to buy at age 18, and I was shocked by this, because I thought the laws had changed out of the Sandy uh, uh, Cook School Elementary shooting, is that you buy a rifle at the age of 18, and it could be an AR-15 with a pistol grip. Uh, call, talk to, uh, I don't say police, but more so, talk to my local gun store, who, they're, they're pretty much, they're, they're in the field. Like, they know what they can and can't do, because they don't want to reject. So you were able to buy a 16 inch, uh, 16 inch rifle and also a uh, 18 inch uh, shotgun, but they have to be Maryland compliant, okay? Now, I thought that the age had moved from 18 to 21 after that shooting took place Sandy Hook. That had nothing to do with the gun, it was just, the kid was crazy, whoever was was crazy, right? Now, um, but I did some research and I found that no, that you can get a long gun at the age of 18 still in Maryland. And, um, you know, if I'm wrong, if I missed something, please guys let me know in the comment section. If there's any videos that you want to see, uh, please message me on Instagram, MD underscore ready, because I was drawing in the comments for the last couple weeks that were like two, three, four, five, six months old. So please do that. Now, with that being said, if I were 18, not only would I buy a rifle and a shotgun, or a few of them, I will also buy a ton of uh, what is it called? unfinished receivers, right? I will buy a ton of those because then you are able to build your own rifle. When you turn 21, you can actually build your own pistol because we don't know what's going to happen with these gun laws or how bad or how good or how bad they can get due to the current administration. So uh, just to make sure that you are ahead of the game, uh, low receivers, they went up in price, but you still find them for under 100 bucks. So I will buy me quite a few of those and I believe you're still able to buy uppers because um, not, it's not a farm, it's not, it's not the registered part. So, but let's go. This is my Ruger AR-556. According to my, from my understanding, it's no longer legal in the state of Maryland. Okay, but when I bought it, I bought it when it was legal. Um, it had a little uh, rubber butt flag pad here just so I don't have to extend the stock out very much. Simple M4 M16 sling. Rear sight, diopter, double magged up, and it is safe, of course, and I don't have a runner chamber, but this is one of my uh, home defense guns, right? Uh, vertical forward grip, uh, fixed front sight. Uh, what is that? That's a white light. It should be a white light. Okay. Then I have a uh, linear compensator on there. The reason being is because I don't want to blow my ears and rub out the shooting in the house. I don't want to push all the blast for So that is a yes option, right? 16 and a half inch AR-15 that is legal in the state of Maryland. Now, we have a note for you. This is considered a firearm in the state of Maryland. They consider it a pistol. This is a shockwave. I put a one inch uh, or what is it? plus one mag tube extension on here. So I have six rounds in here. Uh, I have one one inch mini, uh, mini slug and I have five low recoil uh, buck shots in here. And I also have my uh, sass out that I modified. The reason I modified is because this has a folding brace on the back and you're not able to get this, and it is loaded, of course, but it's safe. Okay, right. No, no matter what Anyway, so with this being folded and able to fit in the backpack, right? You're not able to get the shot, the side, um, the side saddle on the right side where, or the left side where it typically is. So I modified one and put it on the right side. If you guys are interested in figuring out how I did that, please let me know and I'll make a video about it, right? So I have low recoil uh, buckshot in here, not because I'm a wimp. But because I want to make sure I can stay on target if I need to use it, and it hurts my hand like hell to shoot that though. So that's going to be a no option for you guys because it's a firearm, um, but more is considered a pistol in the state of Maryland. So that's enough. Okay. Now I have a yes for you guys. Yay! Remington 870 started off his life as a 28 inch barrel shotgun, I guess for you know, bird hunting or whatever it may be, um, probably deer. 
I had to choke it. So it's gonna probably burn. Uh, but what I have on here is I have some fiber sites that I put on the grill at the top. This little heat grill, I guess you can call it. And I put a three, I think it's a plus three mag extension. It has an old school streamline on there, guys. Check that out. It came like that when I got it. I have a side saddle on the rear. On the right side, these are slugs. And uh, those are military grade uh, double lock bucks. And it's filled with double lock bucks. And there's no round in the chamber. You guys can probably see. So, it's safe. I keep my shotgun on cruiser ready, right? So, uh, we're pretty much we're, we're, we're ready to go. Now, with that being said, this is going to be a yes option. Okay? It is 18. Mine is 18.1 inches because I cut it down and I, I cut it with a good old Dremble and made sure I thought everything up right. Now, no option. This is Project Snubby Stubby. Alright, so it is safe, but this is also one ready to go. This typically I create this in the backpack. This was a gun that I hated to shoot, but ever since I put this five plus inch uh, linear comp on here, this blast can on there, green light, it's so much fun to shoot. I have some iron backup sights um, and a Filter stream optic up here, uh, sling. But the reason that it is so awesome is because I have a folding brace on here. So it sticks in the backpack just nicely. All right, and I have a little hand stop hook here to protect my hands, make sure that they don't go forward the barrel. And that is pretty much a side charger. But this one is gonna be a no, guys. This one is a pistol. So it's an awesome concealed carry. If you, if you don't believe me, Try it, as long as you're licensed to do so, okay? So, guys, with that being said, let's do a quick review, okay? So, we have the, yes, this one here, 16 and a half inch rifle, AI-15 for you guys, if you're 18. Then we have the, no, the shockwave, if you're 18. You gotta wait till you're 21, guys. All right, then we're going to have our yes. 870 style shotgun. That's gonna be a yes for you guys. And last but not least, the gun you love to hate or hate to love, the uh, AR pistol, right? Just seven and a half inch barrel. This is gonna be enough. So, guys, thank you for checking out the video. Please make sure you guys uh, drop something in the comment section, right? If you uh, agree, disagree, let me know what your guns would be. If you know what guns would you have purchased, you know, if you're 18 years old all over again, right? What would you do? How would you maneuver in our new economy? Also, with our new administration, keep that in mind too. Um, let me know what your first gun was at the age of 18, and how you, you know, how you did things, right? So, with that being said, please remember, hint, hint, unfinished receivers. 80% um, receivers, whatever you're gonna call them, like unfinished, unmilled receivers. You can build your own rifles, guys. It's legal for you to do so. They're trying to make, they're trying to ban and make it illegal. But while it's legal to do so, I would get a ton of those. Get some uppers, build yourself some rifles, buy some shotguns, and make sure you get some ammo, get some training. I am a certified instructor, instructor, and I can help you with any of your firearm needs, especially in the state of Maryland, whether you need to wear and carry, hang on qualification license, or you want some private lessons, need some training. I'll help you train you with your firearm. I'll do some consulting service to help you find the proper firearm for yourself, or even answer a ton of questions. I don't charge much, and what I charge is going to help you save thousands down the line. Now, with that being said, God bless you guys. I got one more thing for you. I showed some merch in one of my last videos. I'll drop that link in here as well. Make sure you check out my ladies' page, Authentic Flavor. And uh, God bless you guys. Have a good one.